Okay, welcome to a tutorial on full-on plugin. So let's start to create a composition. Now I will leave it as 1K composition with square pixels and five seconds of length. So and now I will bring the flower image again. Uh -huh. So something went wrong. Okay, just flower image and bring it here so apply the plugin okay and uh, that's it now <coughs> as I mentioned before we have here the projection the master projection so the image we are seeing is an azimuthal equidistant image of Ishai go again and, and just show the, the color limits or the limits and the input image is set as um, gnomonic okay so the plugin handles a lot of different types of input image so and when i mean images is is footage itself so content independent if it is simple images or or, or video um, or cylindrical equidistant, cylindrical equal areas image, central cylindrical panoramic image, hemicubic image, spherical image, equisolid image, okay, and, and images on, on other projections like Eckert, Mull White, Lombard, and Mercator, okay. Uh, some of these are traditionally used, as we will see uh, today, for uh, panoramic image. Others have more technical use like HITOF and MRI TOF. Okay. So <coughs> what you when you bring some content, what you have to do in order to be correctly represented, you have to to really choose the appropriate uh, appropriate uh, um, projection. So in this case, this is a, of this flower image. This is a simple or a traditional. Um, picture of a camera so as if I go here and, and just set the scale and that's it the image the image is the image is there and it's on the correct um, format so once displayed on the DOM it will look like exactly um, in the correct incorrect format as as for example we are looking at it right now okay anyway so going back what we can and to somehow illustrate other type of um, let's bring it this panoramic image it's a beautiful panoramic image from ESO, the European Sovereign Observatory of of Paranal, the Observatory of Paranal. So let's go and apply the plugin once more. And um, this Im image is, is a, a panoramic image. So you go here to input, I'm sorry, to projections and set the input projection as um, panoramic equidistant. Okay. Because the image it should be close centered to the <coughs> to the spring line, so if you go here and have a look at the image, okay, so the center of the image is here, so the altitude should be zero in order to place this image in the correct place. So go into the composition here it is. So what you need to do is to set your scale correctly and because it's a panoramic image there's an option of setting it as full width scale so it's simply go in and set the width to 360 degrees filling the entire filling the entire uh, fisheye image okay so we we can go again and, and set color limits in order for you to see 
So the, the horizon is really here too close to the to spring line. You, some, you could see some mountains here. The end is and, and the telescopes. Okay. We will come back later to to see how to properly set up the, this this image. So and uh, obviously, if this is a panoramic image, I could could try and, and bring another type of image once again from Paranal too. And this is a um, fisheye image. So bring it to the composition. It's really a big one. And once again, apply the, the plugin. Okay and set it again as this image now this is a fisheye image okay of the same of the same location um, the beautiful Milky Way galaxy it's really easy to see and uh, so what you have to do is simply tell the plugin that you are using a fisheye image so go here to to your parameters of so you have selected here and go to the plugin and say it's an azimuthal fisheye image okay so as, as you can see because the master is azimuthal equidistant and the input is as the same projection it actually does not make much to the image apart from scaling it so I'm good and, and scale it and and bring it down or to the value up to spring line is coincident with the, with the horizon okay and probably to see it better just draw okay. So having different inputs, you have to set the input projection accordingly to the type of uh, footage you are using. If it is azimuthal equidistant or fisheye, it's one kind. Standard gnomonic is another one. Fisheye or, or uh, sorry, cylindrical or panoramic is it's another one. Okay. Let me just go back here to the panoramic image that we set it before there are two options here that are somehow similar okay so if you go here to the to the effects here it is um, another option here would be to set it at cylindrical equidistant so as you can see nothing happens uh, the difference between cylindrical and panoramic is that cylindrical you can change the position of the center and it starts to roll here go up or below okay so you can raise it and and more or less the image is a cylindrical one so you can imagine it in a cylinder so you can move the cylindrical around if it is panoramic, what happens is that the center goes up and down, but everything goes up and down, okay? So if you want to just to leave it there, it's basically the same. If you want somehow like to rise the cylinder, use panoramic and then just go up and down with this value, okay? So the altitude. Okay, and that's it for the input parameters. Thank you and see you on the next, on the next video.